Discover the hidden wisdom of being content Zen story time. Hello and welcome to our Zen inspired video series, where we explore the wisdom and teachings of Zen through stories and practices that can help us live more fulfilling and meaningful lives. Today's story is The Moon Cannot Be Stolen, a classic Zen tale that reminds us of the importance of being content with what we have. The story begins with a Zen master who lives in a small hut in the mountains. He has nothing but a straw mat, a wooden pillow, and a few books. One night, he is visited by a thief, who breaks into his hut looking for something to steal. The story goes like this, a Zen master lived the simplest kind of life in a little hut at the foot of a mountain. One evening, while he was away, a thief sneaked into the hut only to find there was nothing in it to steal. The Zen master returned and found him. You have come a long way to visit me, he told the prowler, and you should not return empty-handed. Please take my clothes as a gift. The thief was bewildered, but he took the clothes and ran away. The master sat naked, watching the moon. Poor fellow, he mused, I wish I could give him this beautiful moon. Now, what does this story mean for us in our daily lives? Well, think about it. How often do we chase after things that we think will make us happy, only to find out that they are not enough or not what we really need? How often do we compare ourselves to others and feel dissatisfied with what we have? How often do we forget to appreciate the simple and natural gifts that life offers us every day? The point of the The Moon Cannot Be Stolen story is that to truly live in joy and peace, we need to be content with what we have, which means being grateful, generous, and mindful. By being content with what we have, we can avoid unnecessary suffering and stress caused by greed, envy, and attachment. By being grateful for what we have, we can recognize the abundance and beauty that surrounds us and cultivate a positive attitude. By being generous with what we have, we can share our gifts and talents with others and create more happiness and harmony in the world. By being mindful of what we have, we can live in the present moment and enjoy every experience as a precious opportunity. So, how can we practice being content with what we have in our daily lives? Here are some suggestions. First, practice gratitude. Every day, make a list of at least three things that you are grateful for in your life. They can be big or small, material or spiritual, personal or universal. Express your gratitude verbally or in writing to yourself or others. Second, practice generosity. Every day, do at least one act of kindness or service for someone else without expecting anything in return. It can be as simple as giving a compliment, a smile, or a hug, or as big as donating money, time, or resources to a cause you care about. Third, practice mindfulness. Every day, spend at least 10 minutes in silence and stillness, focusing on your breath or a mantra. Observe your thoughts and feelings without judging or reacting to them. Just be aware of what is happening in your body and mind. In conclusion, the story of the moon cannot be stolen teaches us that to truly live in joy and peace, we need to be content with what we have, which means being grateful, generous, and mindful. By being content with what we have, we can avoid unnecessary suffering and stress caused by greed, envy, and attachment. By being grateful for what we have, we can recognize the abundance and beauty that surrounds us and cultivate a positive attitude. By being generous with what we have, we can share our gifts and talents with others and create more happiness and harmony in the world. By being mindful of what we have, we can live in the present moment and enjoy every experience as a precious opportunity. Thank you for joining us for today's Zen-inspired video, where we explored the wisdom of the classic Zen tale, The Moon Cannot Be Stolen. We hope this story and the practical tips we shared can help you live more joyfully and peacefully in your daily life. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, 
please subscribe to our Zen for Modern Life channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads. Also feel free to share this video with anyone you think could benefit from its message. We'll be back soon with more Zen stories and practices to help you navigate the complexities of modern life with more grace, wisdom, and compassion. Until then, may you be content with what you have and see the moon in every moment. Thank you and be well.